Hi, welcome to Sunil Maths Tutorial. Functional Analysis Class Number 26. In this video, we prove a theorem Uniform Boundedness Theorem. It is also known as Uniform Bounded Principle. One of the very very important theorem in functional analysis. Let us say the statement of this theorem. Capital B be a Banach space and N be a normed linear space. If set Ti set ti collection ti or set of ti is a non empty set of bounded is a non empty set of bounded continuous linear transformations from capital b into n having the property that the set of the set ti of x is bounded subset of capital n is bounded subset of capital n for each vector x in capital b then set of norm ti is a bounded set of numbers that is Ti is a is bounded as a sub subset of script B of B comma N. One of the very very important theorem. Let us see the proof. Let capital B be a Banach space. Let capital B be a Banach space. And capital N be a normed linear space capital n be a normed linear space and set ti set ti be the set of all be the set of all continuous be the set of all continuous linear transformations linear transformations of capital B into capital N. Set Ti be the set of all continuous linear transformations which are defined from capital B into capital N. Right. Now for any positive integer small n, let us define for any positive integer small n, define a set, define a set capital Fn is equals to set of those elements x such that x belongs to capital B and norm norm Ti of x norm Ti of x is less than or equals to n for all i. Let it be equation number 1. For any natural number for any natural number small n belongs to capital N define a set fn the set of those elements x which belongs to the banach space capital b satisfying the condition norm ti of x is equals to x for all i for all i let it be equation number one first we show that this fn is a closed subset of b first we show that this fn is a closed subset this fn is a closed subset of capital b first we show that this fn is a closed subset of b so right take an element small x belongs to fn take an element x belongs to fn so x belongs to fn means which implies and implied by it satisfies the condition norm ti of x is less than or equals to n for all i which implies and implied by ti of x belongs to some open sphere sn power 0 for all i where what is this sn power 0 sn power 0 is a closed sphere a closed sphere centered at origin centered at origin o centered at origin O and radius N and radius N. Remember this symbol Sn power 0 is the closed sphere centered at origin having radius small n. And this sphere entirely this Sn power 0 is entirely lies in capital N entirely lies in capital N. So which is again implies and implied by which is again implies and implied by I mean Ti of X this one. Sn power 0. 
I mean this one. Ta of x belongs to Sn power 0 implies and implied by x belongs to Ti power minus 1 of Sn power 0. Inverse of T. Inverse of T. Again, which is implies and implied by this is true for all i. Implies and implied by x belongs to intersection i is equals to uh, intersection over i means for all arbitrary elements intersection over i ti inverse of sn0 sn0 for all i so this shows us this shows us that set fn is equals to intersection over i ti inverse of sn0 sn0 which is closed being intersection of closed sets this is nothing but this is nothing but intersection of intersection of closed sets intersection of closed sets obviously intersection of closed sets is closed therefore the set fn is closed our first time is that is so first we show that fn is closed subset of b so obviously this fn is closed since again now we continue further we can write further further we can write we can write fn i mean capital b is equals to union n is equals to 1 to infinity fn union n is equals to 1 to infinity fn suppose if if suppose or if this b not equals to union n is equals to 1 to infinity fn it means it means there exists some x belongs to capital b such that that x does not belongs to fn for any n for any n if you assume that this point if you assume that this point b not equals to union fn then there must be an element x belongs to b that does not belongs to fn this condition implies us, this condition implies us, norm ti of x is greater than n norm ti of x is greater than n for that x for that x belongs to capital b this is a contradiction this is a contradiction this is a contradiction to the fact what is the fact to that ti of x is bounded ti of x is bounded but we show that ti norm ti of x is greater than n so this is a contradiction this is a contradiction this contradiction exists because of our assumption b not equals to because of our assumption b not equals to union n is equals to 1 to infinity hence we conclude that hence we conclude that b must be equivalent to union n is equals to 1 to infinity fn b is equals to union of all closed sets right that is that is the complete space the complete space capital b the complete space capital b is the union of is the union of sequence of its closed subsets its closed subsets that is capital b is the complete space b is the union of the sequence of its closed subsets its closed subsets now by applying berry category theorem now by applying berry category theorem by applying the berry category theorem there exists an integer there exists an integer n not such that fn not bar has non empty interior has non empty interior this is from berry category theorem because the space capital b can be written as union of sequence of closed subsets of itself therefore by applying berry category theorem for any for, there exists a positive integer n not satisfying the condition fn not bar has non empty interior non empty interior right again since 
again since fn not is closed fn not is closed closed set it means fn not bar is equals to fn not fn not bar is equals to fn not and this fn not bar has non empty interior implies as fn not has non empty interior fn not has non empty interior if fn not has non empty interior if any set has non empty interior then there exists some x not belongs to fn not such that this fn not is a neighborhood is a neighborhood of that point x not non empty empty interior non empty interior means there must be a point x not belongs to fn not such that that fn not is a neighborhood of x not that fn not is a neighborhood of x not again again since fn not is closed since fn not is closed there exists a closed sphere there exists a closed sphere s is equals to x belongs to capital b such that norm x minus x not is less than or equals to r not which is subset to fn not which is subset to fn not let it be equation number 2 right now we are assuming that if norm y less than or equals to 1 then norm ti of y norm ti of y is equals to norm ti of z by r not z by r not where z is equals to r not into y where z is equals to r not into y you can write this r not as like this small r not so which is equals to again again 1 by r not norm ti of z norm ti of z it can be written as 1 by r not norm ti of z plus x not minus x not z plus x not minus x not which is equals to 1 by r not 1 by r not norm ti of z plus x not x not plus norm ti of x not norm ti of x not this 1 by r not is multiple for both the terms which is clearly which is clearly less than or equals to here here one more step you can write this step also like this 1 by r not norm ti of z plus x not minus ti of x not by the definition of a linear transformation so which is again so from this condition you can write like this you can write directly no worries which is less than or equals to 1 by r not into n not plus n not this is less than clearly less than or equals to 2 n not by r not therefore therefore what is in the left side ti of y ti of y therefore we conclude that norm ti of y is less than or equals to 2 n not by r not if norm y less than or equals to 1 therefore norm ti is equals to supremum of norm ti of y such that norm y less than or equals to 1 which is clearly less than or equals to 2 n not by r not 2 n not by r not it follows that it follows that it follows that the set ti the set or norm ti the set norm ti is a bounded set of numbers is a bounded set of numbers because norm is always positive number it gives a positive number and it is always less than or equals to 2n not by r not so this norm ti set of norm ti is a bounded set of numbers this completes the proof hence proved this completes the proof of the uniform boundedness theorem this is our main aim also so we have to prove that the set ti is a bounded set as a subset of script b of n and norm set of all t norm ti is a bounded set of numbers 
స్టేట్ అండ్ ప్రూవ్ యూనిఫామ్ బౌండెడ్నెస్ థీరం ద క్వశ్చన్ మే బీ లైక్ దిస్ ఇన్ యువర్ ఎగ్జామినేషన్ ఇన్ యువర్ ఎగ్జామినేషన్ ద క్వశ్చన్ మే బీ లైక్ దిస్ స్టేట్ అండ్ ప్రూవ్ యూనిఫామ్ బౌండెడ్ థీరం ఆర్ యూనిఫామ్ బౌండెడ్నెస్ థీరం సో వెరీ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ థీరం కీ ప్లానింగ్